Ashes of Creation is an open-world, non-faction-based MMORPG set in a high fantasy world. It aims to bring the massive back to massively multiplayer. In this video, we outline the basics of the naval system in Ashes of Creation. Naval content includes NPCs found in events, quest chains, and roaming parties such as selling NPCs, fortresses, frigates, galleon ships, raid bosses, quest givers, and general sea-based NPCs. Naval content is accompanied by its own dedicated skill trees for players to invest in. The system structure is based on the artisanship skill trees. Players gain experience in those mariner classes as they perform their respective roles and actions during voyages. Some skills mentioned so far are gunnery, piloting, navigation, boat repair, ship components, defensive skills, and utility-based skills. The developers have discussed that they intend for players to navigate via a spyglass that gives direction and skims the horizon. This would be opposed to radar navigation. Harbors are automatically yet randomly generated on the coasts of coastal nodes being developed past a particular stage. Harbors will serve as a major maritime hub as a popular target of coastal node quests, naval content quest hub, and where ships can be upgraded depending on the decisions of the node mayor. Players can utilize NPCs to establish naval trade routes. The ability for a mayor or citizens to set up NPC-rooted trade routes between nodes as a trade agreement or as a diplomatic process will be significant from a diplomatic standpoint. Plenty of standalone points of interest or POIs unique to naval content will exist waiting to be discovered by players exploring Vera. Content such as underwater dungeons, fortresses, lost cities, and more will await players who brave the open seas. Coastal and island nodes will have unique access to naval content and related actions as their quest lines will be influenced by the sea. The harbors and surrounding naval content will have specific events and spawn tables unique to coastal and island nodes. These nodes may also be besieged by sea if players choose to do so. There is still a lot to learn about the naval system and Ashes of Creation, but as the game progresses, you can expect us to cover the updated information in a future video. If you enjoyed this game guide and found it helpful, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as it does help us to grow. Also, clicking the bell notification on the channel ensures that you don't miss any videos posted here. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so be sure to leave a comment on this topic and tell us how we're doing. We welcome you all to join us on discord.gg forward slash simorg to catch up with our community. And don't forget to check in with asheshq.com or with the Ashes Pathfinders podcast to stay up to date with Ashes of Creation. Until next time, friends, you all stay safe and we will see you again real soon.